how you guys doing welcome to my channel one more time thank you for checking in today we're going to review this new woodpecker tool it is the route and plain bench top board mill it was on sale it was i guess a new tool deal it was 150 with shipping and everything it came out to 190 and that is my beef with woodpecker there's really no saving when they <laughs> No, it's not that it's just uh that stops me from buying a lot of woodpecker uh tools is that shipping part sometimes the price too i ain't gonna lie the price sometimes it's, it's out of hand a little bit but other than that great tools i have some tools that i don't use that i got from them thinking i was gonna use them i don't use them not because i don't i don't use them because i don't i don't build that stuff that i thought i was gonna be building but this one i do run across people still asking me for cutting boards for sure i needed this one I could have done it without it, but this is this is just gonna speed up the process um, when I'm doing those cutting boards. Other than that, Woodpecker, great company, great tools, tools in general. Price, shipping. That's what we got. Let's get into it. Let's see what's up. All right, so let's cut into the box. See what we got inside. Let's see what comes in it. All right. So we got. Instructions. All right. Uh, all right. So it looks like we got a bunch of little boxes. Uh, right. Okay. So let's let's open one by one. Okay. We got a couple boxes. So I'm gonna speed up this process a little bit. Just first box says sky inside or SKI okay so this is one of the sides all right cool perfect stop moving everything so I'm guessing this is the other side yes sir Put that over there all the hardware cool Move this over here okay so now let's go to the big That's the main part. Um, something under here. Uh, this, I think it's the MDF part. Nothing in here, empty. Cool, let's speed it up. So these are the instructions, right? Assembly, place the sled one. So it's, it's not that, I don't think it's that hard to assemble this, to be honest with you. There, you get the hardware. All right, let's pull all this out so you won't lose it. Make sure it's somewhere flat. We got that right there. So we got these little, um, let's see, so it's a washer. I'm guessing it's one of these. Insert tab sled. There's like these little plastic knobs right here. Um, I think these go in right there and then obviously in here so this one same thing little washer There's only four of them so i'm guessing that's how that goes so you got both of the sleds in here well one actually i'm sorry let's do the other one okay so this is the last one we got here would have been cool if they would have gave like one extra little, little plastic things right just in case you lost one or I think for the other sled that I have up there, that's a little bit more expensive. They did do that. But again, um, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't necessary to get it here, right? So now we got these two that go here. And that is for the MDF. Install with the little bracket inward. And then you put these. Uh, yeah, you go top head in first from here, like that. like that, and then you grab these little nuts right here, put them in. So let's get that, let's get these in real quick. All right, so now we'll get the Allen key, and you just tighten it up. Make sure 
these are aligned because you are going to have to line it just make sure they're nice and aligned nice and squared to your to the best of your abilities yeah there you go. don't go too crazy i was one of those guys that always would always over tighten everything man i just never measured oh and speaking of extra they did give an extra little nut right here so that's what i'm thinking so far so let's continue to oh, so now let's put the allen key in this little nut to the side we've got two little um these little screws little black screws and then the mdf little piece of mdf they give um from watching previous videos i know that this thing has pre-drilled hose hose so yeah and sure enough one right there one right there so that's perfect you get a screwdriver real quick put it in here and Oops. don't go too crazy tightening it up it's mdf anyways i mean looks like it's half an inch so if you have half an inch laying around somewhere you could always replace it we got this part for the router so that we got the little blue part and then these right here looks like it's almost a router bit type thing so let's see what's up with this goes like that the washer on top and the little nut how it goes allen key tighten it up again don't go too crazy actually let me see hold on so i was gonna use this smaller base than the bigger one i have two of the milwaukee routers i have a festo one i got that the big one i forgot the, the what the model is but 2200 i think this is the biggest one i, I don't know i don't know if i freaking names of the just know it's a festival but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and use the this one the milwaukee one i have a makita one too um so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that i was gonna use a smaller plate but i think it's safer just to go with the bigger one just so you get more more leverage you know on the on the right here on the base so i think it'll be way better than the smaller one so right here, what you want to do is just loosen these screws up. And again, I apologize if this video already took too long, but my editing skills are gonna make it all fast. So anyways, okay. So we will do that. So we put this one here. Then you put this one in here to center it. All right, all the way in. Cool, I don't think this has to be no, it doesn't have to be all tight. As long as it doesn't fall out, right? Okay, so cool. Push it all the way out. And um, right here on the router, or this plate, I'm sorry, it tells you if, you're, if your router has a flat spot on the plate, you put it to this side. It'll tell you right here on the little stickers, so there's no, there was, you know, there won't be no misunderstandings on that part okay so you bring it in right bring it in and i want to say you just like a little hair bring it out you don't want to be too tight because then you're not going to be able to move back and forth you know what i'm saying so um or let's see let's put it tight put it tight yeah it's a little bit stiff just just if you move out by a hair you should be fine just a little bit, not too crazy. Let me just tighten it back up. Again, not too crazy, just a little bit. Don't go bananas. Tighten one side up, move out a little hair. There you go. Tighten it up. And then move it up. Again, just move it out a little, little bit. It won't move that much because you already tightened the bottom one up. So not gonna move that much just just enough to I guess make it legit all right so let's do this side now same thing try to move it out a little bit if you can it's not gonna move 
maybe. I'm not gonna move that much, to be honest with you. So there it is. There's a the setup. So now you just pull this out. You got this already centered, so you're good. See that little play? It's perfect. That's actually perfect, perfect. I love it. Um. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's the safety net. Okay, cool, 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 perfect. There's these little tabs right here that will stop you from going all the way. So I'm guessing the smaller the, the plate you have, the more you could go out, kind of. Right? And there it is, centered how it's supposed to. Uh, go back and forth. Yep. Yeah, that's good. So later on in the in the video, I'm gonna set up my whole everything, the whole setup and everything to uh, to to cut that cutting board that I need to cut, so you guys can see, and uh, we'll go from there. So for now, we got this set up; it's ready to go. So, anyways, thank you guys. Um, for sure, there's gonna be a part two on this video. Like I said, this video is already long enough. I don't want to prolong it anymore. Um, this was just too big for this base, so I didn't it didn't go through. So I didn't want to. It's just a no. That's that's red flags everywhere. So, anyways, thank you guys. Be on the lookout for uh, 